Right, I'd just like to talk you through the equipment for lumbar puncture. Um, your specimen bottles, which you can number for spectrophotometry or label for microbiology or any special sampling. Remembering that you need paired um, glucose and protein um, to go to the biochemistry lab. And the biochemistry lab usually like separate forms for the blood and CSF and a paired sample for any special, either serology or for oligoclonal bands. You need a small syringe to inject your local anaesthetic. So you need one needle for drawing up your local anaesthetic, and that should be discarded. You'll then need a shorter needle to produce your subdermal bleb. Now a subdermal bleb is a way of rapidly anaesthetizing the skin you just go under the skin, inject maybe half a mil, and it will usually raise a very small wheel on the skin. That wheel, in fact, will in instantly anaesthetize the skin. And what I normally do is just test the surrounding skin gently. The patient will usually feel a, f a, sh a small, sharp sensation. And then if I go to the wheel, the patient will often say they don't feel anything. And if you've done that and anaesthetize the skin, what you then do is get your other sterile green needle, go to your point of entry on your wheel, and at an angle you use this needle for two purposes. One is to inject a bit more local anaesthetic deeper in, and the other thing is it gives you an angle or idea of the trajectory between the spinous processes. When you've put in about maybe two mils in total, you can you get a small hole in the skin and that's a small hole through which your atraumatic needle will pass. It is possible to use an introducer, which is quite a brutal looking needle. Now if you use an introducer, you must anaesthetise the skin very well, because it could be quite painful if you didn't. And through the introducer, you can then pass your atraumatic needle. Now, an introducer does make things easier, but you need, it does take a bit of experience to get a feel for the positioning of the unintroducer. My own practice really is to favour just using the local anaesthetic, rotating it slightly to make sure I've made a small entry point in the, in the, in the, in the skin, and then inserting the atraumatic needle through that small hole. If you don't make a small hole with a needle, then it'll actually be very hard for an atraumatic needle to pierce the skin because of the way the, the tip is formulated.